Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bobby93 MacBoy. I'm still sick, so excuse me if I'm coughing and sneezing in the middle of this video. But today, I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade your software if you don't want to have the 3.0 update or it's just not working for you guys. So, as you guys can see, I this is a first gen iPod, uh, iPhone, and I it has the purple screen because I'm trying to update it to 3.0 beta 3, which I did a video earlier on how to get and it is not working and as you guys can see right here on my computer hold on it comes up with this we're unable to complete your activation and i've tried doing the method where you turn uh the air or you turn the wi-fi off i've tried um xing it out while it's loading and it just does not work for me for some reason i don't know why but it just is not working. So I'm going to downgrade it and I think I'm going to try to jailbreak it and then get the update when they release that because I think I want to jailbreak this iPhone. So I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade because since I'm already doing it I figured I might as well do a video on it. And so um, what you're going to want to do is I think you have it plugged into iTunes and then you hold down the sleep button and the home button for 10 seconds and then after 10 seconds you let go of the sleep button but still hold the home button for 10 seconds and then that will put it in restore mode and allow you to restore it back to your previous software so here it goes okay Okay, and now here it is. If you guys can see, um, it says that it is in restore mode. Hold on, let me zoom in. iTunes has de uh, detected a device, an iPhone, in recovery mode. You must restore this before you can use it with iTunes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, hold on a minute. Let me see if I can get a good angle for you guys. Okay, so I click OK. And there it is, a blank iPhone. And then you click right down here. Um, as you guys can see, it says nothing's in the iPhone. Click Restore. And then I'll bring this window up. <coughs> asking if you're sure you want to restore it. So you click restore and update and now it's going to go through the software extraction and all that. Right now, as you guys can see, the iPhone's completely blank, nothing's showing up. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now this white screen is popping up on the iPhone. Oh, crap. Okay, it's preparing the iPod for it to be restored. Now this little click wheel thing is showing up at the bottom, if you guys can see that. Alright, so right now it's going through the process of restoring it, and so I'm just going to pause this video and come back to you guys when it's done, okay? Alright, just checking in real quick. As you guys can see right here, it looks like the uh, verifying the iPod software is almost done, but right here in the process of restoring the entire firmware, it seems to be taking a while. I've been waiting about 
five minutes. I just thought I'd let you guys know about how much time you're going to be waiting. Alright, now as you guys can see, it says the uh, your iPhone has been restored. Oh, it went away. But uh, my iPhone has been restored to the original software. And it is restarting right now. As you guys can see. Hold on. Let's see. It, it said it'll take about 10 seconds for it to show up. Oh, there it is. And now, let's see what iTunes does. And... There you go. Um, alright. It says there's updates for the carrier settings. I don't want to do that right now. And now, it gives you the option. <coughs> it says, um, alright, now you can restore it from an older backup. Whoa. You can restore it from an older backup or um, set up as a new iPhone. So there you go. That's how you restore um, to the 2.0 beta software if you have messed up on the 3.0. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, subscribe if you like my videos. And thank you.